gonna try that. You gonna grow out your hair too? We okay. already discussed this. Oh, that. I missed it. I, think oh. I, could. <laughs> I was off in La La Land. I think I could. Speaking of La La Land, oh, <laughs> hey. that's not where I'm gonna be tonight. Oh. <laughs> Zach is rested and not on painkillers. <laughs> no. Ready to go. I'm ready to rip and run. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Rip and run. <laughs> not and with that run. leg. <laughs> oh, no, not with this leg. Um, <laughs> welcome back to Fives the Crowd. Um, again, tonight, I am surrounded by my four best friends that anybody could have. Yes, sir. We got Tony. Hello. Austin. Hey. Chris. Hello. And Cam. Hello. And, of course, myself. And um, these guys don't know what's going on. Today. No, we so don't. We're going into this. Try? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know. Who spit? <laughs> Not dry anymore. <laughs> so I want you to know that this was completely by happenstance. Okay. What is that? We're doing yeah. Darwin Awards. <laughs> hey, oh. yeah, baby. That's I awesome. had uh, started looking at stuff last night because we talk about topics. I was like, wonder what I can come up with. And I was like, oh, you know what we haven't done in a while? Darwin Awards. That's amazing. And then literally in our text today, Austin was like, we should do Darwin Awards. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, well, that worked perfectly. So that's fantastic. That's what we're going to go with. So um, by all means, if you guys have your own, want to look up any, want to share any. Heck yeah. I'm here right. for the ride. So, nope. But I have some. I got most of mine off of Reddit. So, Okie dokie. Um, oh, I love a good Darwin Award. To, to those that don't know what a Darwin Award, Cam, Explain you're very it. good at explaining the Darwinism <laughs> Awards. <laughs> well, our good old friend Charles Darwin, <laughs> you know, one that came up with the uh, survival of the fittest. The Darwin Awards go to those who aren't the fittest and don't survive. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the people that die in very dumb ways. It's uh, what do, what do they call it? Um, like where you eliminate things. Cull the herd. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah, I mean that's an essence. <laughs> but we let them do it themselves. Yes. Yeah. What is that called? Something with the gene pool. Like, I don't know. Strengthening anyway. the gene pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Weeding out <laughs> with the gene yeah, pool. Yeah, dude, for real. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll... Are some of these going to have honorable mentions? So honorable mentions are also like yeah. cl close enough Darwin Awards where they didn't die, but... But maimed. They sure. <laughs> They're maimed. Have. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Um, so first Is one... Is this not safe for... Is this going to get... It shouldn't. No, we'd be all right. All right. It shouldn't. We should Sounds be all right. Sounds good. So... Um, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> there is some that gets a little graphic if we go that far. But Sorry. I asked ChatGPT just because, and it gave me a definition of Darwin Awards, and they are tongue-in-cheek horror, or sorry, tongue-in-cheek honor given to individuals who contribute to the human evolution by accidentally removing themselves <laughs> from the gene pool due to their own foolish actions. Ah, there you go. That was that's great. That's a great definition. <laughs> that is a wonderful one. What's that second one? In 2003, a man in Kentucky attempted to prove that the windows in his apartment were unbreakable by throwing himself <laughs> against them. I've After heard of this. After a few unsuccessful attempts, he finally succeeded in breaking through the glass, only to fall to his death from the 24th floor. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my That's gosh. a true story. I've heard of that. Another notorious case involves two men in Russia who decided to test the strength of a hand grenade by throwing it <laughs> and then hiding behind a tree for cover. Needless to say, the grenade exploded and the tree was not sufficient protection. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, man. All right. Yep. <laughs> have, have you, Thanks, speaking AI. of grenades, have you seen those, not that this is Darwin Awards, but Genius Awards, those bunkers that have the grenade returns? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, where they a, throw them and yeah, they pop it was, up by it was like feet. a trick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's like a trick for them to drop them in and it kicks it out by their feet. Yep. Oh, it's so good. Those are good. It's like mini golf when you hit it in the wrong hole. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> or other, other activities. <laughs> <laughs> About that NSFW tag. Oh, yeah, we're going to want yeah, that. We're gonna need <laughs> Just that in now. case, you know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So, we'll start off with my first one. Man mocks alligators, jumps in water, and is killed. 
Uh-oh. By alligators. In Texas. <laughs> Not surprised. Jeez. So a man who apparently mocked alligators then jumped in the water despite warning signs is dead after being attacked in Texas. Um, Orange County police uh, were called out after reports that Tommy Woodward, uh, who was 28 years old, uh, were swimming in a bayou and had been attacked by a large alligator. Wood's word body was found several hours later. The woman was not injured. So it says um, there was a sign and verbal warnings that said no swimming alligators. And basically, he mocked the deadly creatures before going into the water. He removed his shirt, removed his billfold. Someone shouted a warning, and he said, F the alligators, <laughs> and jumped in the water and almost immediately yelled for help. <laughs> <laughs> F these alligators. F I, no couch. When he said that, that they mocked him, I just thought Monty Python. He's like, I blew my nose at you. <laughs> I fought in your general oh, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at you, you swimming suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, no, no swimming alligator sign was posted this week, or when it had happened, and it was posted that after a 10 foot alligator was spotted in the bayou waters. Oh man, she's so. loose. I could not think of a worse way to die, dude. That's than being ripped to shreds by something in the water. That is my, I think, nightmare fuel. And that they literally rip, they bite, oh, and then sh- twist the death roll. Yeah, the death yeah. roll, and just well, tear you apart. Yeah. You're just like completely in out of your element. Yes. Yes. Fast. not a chance. Fast. You're not a strong oh. swimmer. You know what I mean? Like you're. Yeah. You are just. Do you, do you remember that video though? The dude that's like on an embankment, and his friends like swimming, and there's an alligator, and he straight up just jumps out with his elbow, and like <laughs> smashes. No. Have you not seen that video? No, no I don't bro. think so. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, well, I don't just know. saves his buddy's life or what? Yeah, it's. I don't even know what happened. Dude, but I, it is I would so elbow drop funny. an alligator for you guys. Oh, thanks, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> I think me. I mean, I th- I'd expect you guys to jump in after I saved you to help make sure that we all stay alive. <laughs> hey, here you go. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Are we doing this picture in picture? Yes, sir. Either <laughs> first he throws what leaves. Oh, that's a decent sized <laughs> alligator too. <laughs> oh my god! Did he hit it? Or did he talk? Did I? Th- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it backed away. Yeah. What a guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. Was so good. He was, he so was good. watching some WWE after that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> that what is a, a guy. Definition of last ditch effort. Oh, right? my like, God. That is a bro. For I feel like life. that's like a mixture of like. Uh, Ace Ventura when nature calls and Happy Gilmore. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a guy! I can't believe oh. that is. That's man, right. doesn't he? Was it the shark or doesn't he wrestle an alligator as well? In what? Ace Ventura. It's an alligator. Was it an alligator? Because it's two? after he goes off the falls and he's like, "I'm alive," and then the alligator <laughs> pops oh, up right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the getting eaten thing though. Yeah, I feel like either an alligator or a bear are like my, mm. I don't know. Because they're alive when they start to yeah. eat you. Have yeah. you ever seen wolves. Uh, a video of piranha that's like real hungry? Yeah. yeah. They're like, when they throw in fresh meat into the water and all of a sudden you just see just white Bubbles. water. Yeah. No, it's, not even, it's like like white water from uh-huh. all the fins and it just like, and you see yeah. the blood just psh- and you're like, oh, yeah, dude, Prana, freaky. That it look, oh, I just can't even imagine just being ripped to shreds. Slow, like, not slowly, but just. I've heard that you it's get a, nibbled it's a, to death. I was yeah. gonna say, I've heard it's an urban myth that they'll like strip you, like strip your bones clean type thing, like you see in the movies. Yeah, but uh, they but still it's still not and pleasant. Just rip you apart, still. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it is terrifying. It is. <sighs> The, the, this is the perfect quote for this episode. The dildo of consequence rarely comes rarely comes lubed. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. <laughs> Figure since we got that NSW, you know, not safe for work tag on here now, I can say that. 
We just unleashed Austin. <laughs> Mom, what's the deal, though? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I figured out what I'm getting for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's Vibrator 3000. It sounds super cool. I found it in my mom's closet. Oh, South Park. Okay. Sounds pretty South Park. Yeah. I love the one where he's like, I got Asperger's. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best one. Only they can get away with that stuff. Or on the dildo. Right, guys. Does, does Mom, Kenny's being a dildo. I know a certain kitty kitty who's sleeping with mommy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Isn't that the one where he goes? Goes to the nurse and he has yeah. a burger yeah, on his yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, he puts it down his pants in the back. He's like, ah, I can't do my work. I got ass burgers. <laughs> <laughs> burgers. And she pulls them out and she's like, These are these are hamburgers. Are you saying I got ass burgers? Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. oh, all right, on to the next. A uh, British man who believed he was wearing a stab-proof vest (laughs) died after he took a knife to his own chest. Oh, my God. Uh, Jordan Easton, 22, uh, was in a friend's kitchen when he stabbed himself. While in the kitchen, he took a hold of a knife to demonstrate it was a stab-proof and sadly realized it wasn't the case. Uh, Easton reportedly was rushed to the hospital where he had passed away. Wow. Jeez. He got an artery. Man. Yeah. Why would you think a, a suit that you have is knife proof? Why would you test it on yourself? Yeah. Like, why not test yeah. it on the counter or yeah, something? Yeah. Or put yeah. it on a teddy bear. Or That's why it's something. the Darwin Awards, right? Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> even Kevlar's not stab proof, right? It'll stop a bullet, but not a blade. Resistant. Well, it's not. It's not meant to stop the penetration. It's meant to disperse the energy. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, I don't think it is knife proof. But they have plates that they put. In. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They have plates. Jeez. My Chain speaking. Mail. Speaking of that, my uncle uh, was. He was a fifty cal gun gunner on a helicopter, but he was sniped in the back. Oh. Luckily, he was wearing his his armor. Like he had like a, a fifty pound plate on or something crazy heavy, but yeah, he uh, he like all he knows is he was riding in a helicopter and then he next thing he wasn't next thing he <laughs> next thing he knows he he was waking up in hospital. Like oh. the the recoil that from the bullet hitting his back just knocked him out. instant knocked him Dang. out. Crazy. Oh my gosh. He woke up, I think, like a week and a half later or something crazy. Dang, what a shot, though. Jeez. Yeah, and he's, he's still... He's in a helicopter. Like, obviously, the armor is decommissioned, right? It's mm-hmm. no longer usable, so he actually got to keep it. And so it actually has Hanging the, the bullet in it, and That's and I crazy. got to wear it, and he's like, yeah, try doing a push-up. And I was like, I, yeah, right. I was like 15 at the time. I'm like, I can't do this. Huh. Like, <laughs> you know, 100-pound pack. Jeez. But anyway. That's wild. It's crazy that he could live after being sniped. Like that's wild. Anyway, next story. Um, I'll go into the next story. There's one right after that. I just sent you a video. I want to see if you can pull it up on your computer. Maybe we can just go right into that one actually real quick. Oh, I don't know if you might want to share it or not. It okay. Very. We'll wait. Graphic. We'll wait. <laughs> I have to say I'm over 18. <laughs> <laughs> Women tries to squeeze past a bus and a pole. Oh no! Oh, she doesn't make it. I don't know if I want to watch this. Oh, just wait. What do you mean? Oh, just wait. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Oh, just wait. Why is the bus just still wait. moving? Oh, Why no! Oh. I saw it. I had to share it. Why now <laughs> on a public forum? That's why I told you not to wow. share that one. You didn't turn it on, did you? No. no. Okay. I told him not to until we saw it. You know, go. Please hold. <laughs> please hold. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love oh. that we all, like, turned to the right. <laughs> We're all, all of us. We had a moment of silence. Reaction. Holy... I'm going to bed. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh gosh. why would you share that? Because I saw it. And I, oh, that, misery I loves company or what? Exactly. I do yes. not. Oh, my. Tony's like, that was cool. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, that's dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, my gosh. I do have to say, so I'm, as you said, it's Reddit. I'm trying to like browse Reddit for stories to add to this. 
and a lot of them are videos. They are. No, of people really? dying. Yeah, there yeah. Are a lot of more videos of people dying. Like I don't know. Like the first one I watched, it was uh, a Russian guy was testing out his homemade parachute. Jumps off a building and you watch him just fall to his death. Is it off yep. the like red power pole or something like that? I no, it's just some like building. That. I don't know, but oh my oh, gosh. man, that was heavy. I got to process that. <laughs> that yeah. was. I did not see that oh, coming. Oh, wow. Do you think she was going? Why did the by, bus keep the going? Though? I'm before. sorry. I guarantee. You. Yes, the if pressure what? got her first. It had to. Up. Oh, she, she was. She was dead way before did the that. Bus yeah. keep going. Yeah. Why did the bus keep going? Bus didn't know. I, like, I, I'm many... trying to figure out why he didn't. Who's up. filming it? Yeah. Why weren't they helping? Or was this security that's camera society or something? Nowadays. Do we want to say what we just witnessed? No, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing, guys. Do not look for that video unless you want something to haunt you for a bit. That was oh, messed man. up. I mean, you, you I, so I sad. I, I feel like we need to tell him so that curiosity doesn't kill the cat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Bro. Bro. We just a woman. Gonna... A woman gets decapitated. Yeah. Yes. In Between a very a slow bus and a pole. Yeah. Not cool. It's pinched off. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> man. Sorry. Just no, no. You're good. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting any of this. <laughs> Should I have said this that? is not what I signed Yay. up for. Should I have said that for the very end? No, you're good. You're good. Don't feel bad. I, it's it's too late was... now. <laughs> I kind of do. Oh, I yeah. saw it. It's thought, been a while since I've seen something that dark. My reaction was the exact same when I first saw it. So I had, I was like, nope. I don't think I'm, I'm I, in a this, way, so. I totally get it. <laughs> I would have been like, okay, this is haunting me. Now it's going to haunt all of you. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so my picture is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Never mind. I'm not oh, I meant to it. ask you. Sorry to change it up. I need to. <laughs> just to lighten the mood a little bit. Are you going to hang that picture above your bed? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go home and frame it. Dude, oh, I text absolutely. my wife this is going on her nightstand. That's what I did. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh. Sweet dreams every night, right? Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. It's gonna go on her <laughs> nightstand. That's what I said. Yeah. That's, yeah oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll lighten the mood a little bit now. <sighs> yeah. No more videos. Sorry. Please. No. That was the only video one. <laughs> How no. was this not an SMW? <laughs> Seriously. Well, it didn't show then. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I would just get NSFW for us. Yeah. Not safe right. for life. Good. Call. Um. Good call on the not picture. You're like, hey, hey, stop, stop. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah. I saw you had it on. <laughs> Don't like, no, show him. Don't show let's him. Let's wait a minute before because that's, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So I'm going to need some sleepy time medicine tonight <laughs> to get to bed. <laughs> um, stump pilot exits plane without fastening parachute harness. During a daylight flight over an airport, the airplane was observed to descend out of control to the ground impact. A uh, pilot exited the airplane in an attempt to parachute to safety. However, the parachute was not attached to the pilot, and the pilot fell to the ground. No Dang. way. I think that's a lesson in being complacent. I think they do it so many times, like, ah, it's going to be all right. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Get complacent in your surroundings and... Mm. Totally. So. Well, never mind. What? Now you got it. Oh, this is totally left field. Sure. But it, I, I was reading like uh, funniest like improv moments in movies and the scene in Aquaman where they jump from the plane without parachutes into the desert. Uh -huh. um, and then Jason Momoa turns to the pilot and he said, redheads, you got to love them. That line was improv. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> you do gotta love them. I mean, <laughs> we love our redhead, especially when they do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta keep us all. <laughs> gotta keep us like, on our toes. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's never so know funny. what's coming out of this dude's so, mouth. Every time I do a podcast, I feel like I always do this. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I was like. When I asked at the beginning of this, is this going to be NSFW? And you said, no, I think we should be good. I was like, but you're hosting. <laughs> like, I'm every time Zach hosts, it's mm -hmm. buckle up. Like, I, <laughs> well, because you guys are prepared. Hey, I love it. it. I love it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I hope I'm not making you feel bad. I, I mean, I feel a little bit bad. No, don't. Because that was 
a lot worse than I anticipated, I guess. <laughs> the reaction? The or reaction the movie? of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like all of us. Yeah, all, all four I, of you guys. I can't wait to just like, rewatch that reaction part. <laughs> My cheeks hurt. Because we were all of us like made the same <laughs> noise. We all turned away the same, and then we all went silent together. <laughs> I was processing what I just Dude, saw. Dude, same. <laughs> you want to? Okay, again, total left field. Cam and I are becoming so much the same Dude, person. Last night we were playing a game where we had to guess the price of women's beauty products. There was like four times that we guessed the same dang number. Exactly to the cent. Wow, it was, that's awesome! And we were like, and some of them knew. were obscure. <laughs> <laughs> like, like to start it off, we were like, <laughs> we guessed the same number, and so we we're like, okay, we gotta be off on the pennies, you know. So like future episodes, so or future rounds, so we started doing like random number pennies. So I went to ninety eight, and he went to ninety eight. Oh my god! And then I, and then there was another one where it was like one of us went to fifty four, and the other one went to fifty four, or was going to, but, but like, then changed yes. it. Oh, man, it, it was, was weird. It's like it's like the ideas were floating in the room, and somehow we were catching them both at the same time. It was you know crazy. You guys should do. You should. So this is a game that one of a couple of my coworkers play with, that I learned when I was in Chicago with them. But it's basically it's um, what are the odds that you would do something? Oh yeah. So like uh, we went to to Hooters one night to eat, and they were over there doing their promo pictures for Facebook and social media and. So we asked him, he said, what are the odds that you go over there and take a picture with one of them? And he's like, oh, one in a hundred. And so then me and him would shout out the same, the like, shout out a one, number. two, three. We'd shout out a number between one and a hundred. If we get the exact same number, he has to go do it. Yeah. Oh. It's like a new kind so, of dare thing. Like somehow I mean him were on the same tone, like. We did it four times, and three out of the four times, I guessed that number. No way. And so then he has to go do it. Like, you have no choice. You have to go do it. I mean, there's always so. a choice. <laughs> no, no. no, that's the thing. The laws the, of the universe the laws dictate. laws of the game is one in a hundred. If that number is guessed, you got... But if you can also number choose is guessed. One in a million. You can choose one in a million. Like, mm. if you really don't want to do it, you can yeah. say one in a million. Because mm. some billion. people will be like, one in ten. <laughs> yeah. You're really willing to do yeah. it. Yeah. I like that. Uh, one yeah. out of two. Man law. <laughs> yeah. Yep. What are the odds you go and do this? It's similar to ours like where it's that. like whatever you do to one, they get to do it back. And there's no rule on how badly they do it back. So go in with that knowledge. Yeah. Because that could be nice or not. <laughs> Although I feel like we've all gotten really nice to each other physically we're getting older <laughs> right? things hurt it's longer to heal. Things, it's, it, things hurt for longer yeah it doesn't go away the next day right. it's like man it's been a week ah <laughs> i just got sciatica for the first time in my life and it sucks you being serious really? yeah. Yeah. sciatica it's just the it's like sciatic pinched nerve sciatic nerve runs oh, from yeah. like the bottom of your spine through your buttocks uh, i get that on the right side so if yeah, oh. if you if those muscles get tight at all, they pinch that nerve, and it's like your lower back just like gives up. Yeah, okay. it just like, nope. gives out. <laughs> Dude, it re- has not been fun. I realize raising a kid in your twenties versus your thirties is a whole different ball game. Too. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> I can only imagine. They can almost beat you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're doing it right now, buddy. <laughs> right. I mean, I caught it. Dude, every time I have to take something out of Layla's hand, I question my strength. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, girl, what? what?" It's like you and me. Lisa taking the jar from Chris. It's (laughs) similar. (laughs) They got that handful of rice, and you're like, give me that rice. (laughs) (laughs) I learned to fight dirty. Uh, (laughs) It helps. It helps. I have learned um, to not fight. I just now distract. Yep. yep. Smoke and mirrors, boys. Yeah. I bite. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> let go. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do to Reggie? <laughs> yeah, he bites back. I was like, he's got to do it before he does it. <laughs> before Reggie does it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just socking me like, hey, we don't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've done that. Like, no, you go. In a non-abusive <laughs> way, but just. <laughs> that little whop across the head. Hey, we don't hit. <laughs> so you just got to change the word. You don't hit. Yeah. You don't hit. <laughs> Putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. 
on to the next. <laughs> um, no, this is good. This is this is uh this you know is, yeah, getting the the humor back into yeah, it. Yeah, getting getting over it, but we <laughs> okay. just all we're, don't we're, bring, we're, it we're, bring it back. <laughs> So I got another um, video for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two dead, one critical after a homemade alcohol drink. Oh, man. Two men died while another is in critical condition after drinking a homemade alcohol mix that included thinner. Dummy. Thinner? Oh, oh thinner. gosh. Smells good. Um, <laughs> So there was three residents. Um, they were making their own alcohol at home using coffee, vinegar, and soft drinks as a liquor ban prevailed in Manila City amid the losing white quarantine. So this was back during 2020. Um, they had been drinking the mixture for several days until one of them brought a paint thinner on, on the day and suggested adding it to the drink. Why? So that was on Sunday that they had added the drink in there. On Monday, uh, one of the girls found her brother unconscious and foaming at the mouth. Uh, Meanwhile, one of the other guys complained that he could not see anything and crawled his way to the hospital. He was found unconscious at the side of the road, uh, rushed to the hospital, but did not make it alive. Um, The third victim, meanwhile, is still in critical condition at the time of this. Wow. Wow. Just throw a little Jeez. paint thinner into that alcohol mix. That's cr- why I'm more so curious why there was a ban on alcohol. And um, you said it was in Manila. Yeah, is that North Dakota? Manila? No, it's, it's somewhere Philippines, Spanish, isn't it? Or somewhere, yeah. Oh, Trilla and Manila. When Manila. Oh, Raleigh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking thought, of Minot. That's what I'm I thinking. Of. Manila was in France. M A N I L A. Yeah, where's Manila? Manila's in. Why was yeah, it alcohol? In, it's in the man. Philippines. Yeah, Philippines. Oh. And I it just it was banned during. Who thought paint thinner was a good idea? Dude, the alcohol banned. Yeah, Who thought paint thinner? <laughs> Have you seen what it does to paint? It thins it a lot. <laughs> oh, it sure thins the lining of their stomach. <laughs> oh, it destroys stomach. it. Well, it's either it that or drain. It, up. <laughs> it bubbles the paint up and turns it to a goop. Yeah, that's crazy. What do you think that's doing to your gut? That is turning it to goop. <laughs> yeah, destroying I'm, it. I'm, I'm still lost on why there was a ban on alcohol. I actually heard about that during the whole pandemic thing, just because people were being quarantined. They, they didn't, didn't want to lose their minds. Inhibitions like, are going away because they're yeah. drinking together, wanting to get together, yeah. to drink, get too close. Probably drinking too much. So I heard of a lot of countries going crazy temporarily. Really? Doing that. Alcohol That's poisoning the only thing even. some people got. <laughs> like, they're like, what am I doing here? Yeah. We, we want to take away the alcohol so you don't become insane. <laughs> mm. well, I'm going to go insane. insane. Take insane. away this paint thinner. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> you know, I know of a lot of people were using hand sanitizer. Not, not I, I, I say that like I, I, like I know people, but I read articles yeah. of people using hand sanitizer mm-hmm. as the alcohol. Mm-hmm. I've heard of that. Oh, yep. I remember that. That happens on a... Don't they add something to it to make it into, like, you can't digest it? Like, it makes you puke it up, though? I I don't know. I've always heard of homeless going to get mouthwash from, like, dollar store and stuff. Yeah, I've heard of mouthwash. One of the the Smiths that I worked at, their biggest, they actually had to put them in a lockbox or whatever, but Mm. it was the brown Listerine. That Mm. was the biggest thing that was Drink of choice, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, that's a brown. (laughs) It's, It's that original Listerine, I don't know. Yuck. Yeah. It's got like those barbiturates. Barbiturates. <laughs> barrel aged. Is you is or is you ain't my barbiturates. I mean, the the only goes I mean, good with a cigar. Not that it would, <laughs> I mean, not that it would matter. I was even thinking that maybe they're just dumping it in another bottle. It looks like liquor, but oh, wow. I don't think it would really matter if a police officer sees either way. Yeah. But oh man, yeah. People are crazy. Paint. Here I got one. Go Ooh. for it. I'm going into this blind, so here we go. Um, So this is August 23rd, 1977, or 1997, in Holland. Isn't that A group of employees were happy to escape work and be bussed around on a day tour by their company. It was a sunny day, and some of the more boisterous employees enjoyed sticking their heads out of out of a rooftop window aka buses and heads man buses and heads <laughs> let's not have a repeat 
I can picture <laughs> I can picture them like puppies enjoying the wind in their ears. The bus tongue out. The, the driver of the speeding bus told them several times to pay attention to the road and stop their foolishness. And then it happened. Two men had their heads out of the window, singing it. as the wind blew across their faces when the bus entered a viaduct. The, oh gosh, this gets kind of, the cracking of bone was oh. heard throughout the bus. Their, their heads, oh my gosh, maybe I better stop. <laughs> Bro, you started with buses and heads. We knew exactly where this was going. Got, yeah, go ahead. They got we decapitated. Got some, we got some hereditary, oh. they, some hereditary stuff going Thanks on. Thanks for here. not making me the only one, buddy. <laughs> Their heads did not come off cleanly, oh. as you might expect, but the men now fell dead into the bus with cracked heads and broken necks. Oh, the chauffeur yeah. asked whether safety regulations were properly observed, R- replied, I always lock the damn thing when kids are in the bus because kids just don't listen. But for God's sake, these were adults. Dang. How'd you not see it coming? So two out of the three? <laughs> were they looking backwards? Yeah, <laughs> I it, it just know, said man. two. Two men. Fuck goodness gracious. I'm also, I'm more so <laughs> concerned for the bus driver. Like, why would the bus driver continue driving into an area they... Routinely drive Maybe he thought through. the clearance got to be on was, time. Maybe he thought the clearance. I mean, your head is only what six, eight inches. It's like, ah. I remember as a kid, I would put my arm out the window, but if I saw a semi, I'd pull it in because I was afraid right? it would rip it off. Honestly, if we drove by anything, I feel like I, even though your arm is not sticking out any mm. farther than your side mirror. Oh, really, I'd immediately go like this. But it's still yeah. just yeah. that. Like I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. Driving past construction cones. In my head, I'm always like, I could grab one and like <laughs> as we drive by, except it, that they're wicked heavy and yeah, would like break your, your arm. arm dude. Like, <laughs> it would destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit, just real quick, because you're tired of thinking of buses and heads. Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this also just made me feel stupid old today. Uh oh. So I went to go get these photos, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. there was this. You know, I don't know how old he was, but he was younger. Kid working at the photo lab, whatever. Did you and go to Walgreens? No, it was at a. It was it's at the imaging do- depot. Oh, so a okay. legit photo photography place where I got these printed. And anyway, the kid they're working, I was like, "Hey, man, you know, total random question. I love the fit of your shirt. Where'd you get it?" And he's like, "Oh, uh, I got it online at some." Some really weird named website. It was oh, like, uh, it was like Andercrondy and Finch. Uh, Talk about a knife to the freaking gut, dude. Oh my God. I turned and was just like, have a good day. Oh <laughs> my God. It was like gosh. walked out. I didn't know they weren't like a popular thing anymore. I oh, died. Wow. That- I died. Mm. That was like the expensive place to shop for us when we were in high school. Oh, it's not expensive anymore, but... Do they still fit nice, though? Yeah, I would imagine Mm. so. Because maybe now I can finally afford it. (laughs) It's like like when you say a band that somebody's like, who's that? I loved the thing. Speaking of music, was it you that shared someone on uh, social media somewhere uh, explained it perfectly that classic rock should be a genre of its oh, own. Yes. Mm-hmm. And cl- yeah. and that genre is like the eighties eighties yeah. rock. Yep. Never changes. Yeah. It's just that that it's not a length of time that passes in the music that was from thirty yeah, years yeah. ago. It's right. like it's a it's, like it's music an era the, of, music. of music. From like yes. the sixties to eighties. Yeah. yeah. You don't want I red mean, hot chili peppers mixed in with your A C D C and no, Metallica. No. Yeah. Like that's that's that music is a genre. Like I feel like of classic rock maybe goes into nineties a little bit, but mostly that eighties, seventies. Mm-hmm. Well, only if those bands that were big in the eighties were go. still making music. Good point. The, the classic rock should be like when they were fu- like when they were discovering rock music. Yeah, yeah. that's when they were exactly. Yeah. Which when is like was, what, like the sixties? Well, Elvis, I guess, was considered like 
the king of rock, wasn't he? he like was rock, but he was like a, he was kind of the beginning of it. And Beatles. That's classic alternative. I, see, and I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. even, I would call that oldies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like us growing up, oldies was like yeah. Beatles, Elvis, those. All those and then really old. Our bands. parents' genre was classic rock. Yeah. So would you call yeah. it classic mm-hmm. rock, and then you could call it classic metal. You could call it classic. Yeah. The one that kills me is you're walking through the grocery store as a kid, and you're hearing all of your pu- your parents' music, like from FM 100. Like all the soft hits and Freaking everything. Soft rock. And now you're walking through the grocery stores now, and we're hearing all the music we grew up with. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Kind of a similar experience. I remember, home, kid, <laughs> I remember as Same a kid. I remember as a kid watching late night TV with my mom, and it was like Nick at Night. And it was like, I Love oh, Lucy, I dream Bewitched, mm-hmm. I Dream of Jeannie. Mm-hmm. Yep. All, all the, the black and whites. Yeah. All the stuff on TV land. All that. That was like Nick at Night. That was the classic stuff That's then. When you and then all the time I, go to bed. I turned it on one day. I mean, this was years ago, but it's like I turned it on one time and it was like friends and home improvement oh. and like all. And I'm like, no, like, <laughs> no, they're not. Like, <laughs> that reminds me of uh, no. what one more sidebar. <laughs> I, I took Micah to her first father daughter dance. That was really cool. But while we were there, I am not kidding you. And it was edited, thank goodness. Oh, no. But the, the DJ, for whatever reason, for an elementary school dance, played Get Low. Oh, oh no. It gosh. was edited, but it was surprising how many of the kids knew the yeah, words dude. to that song. And the funniest part was all the moms were like getting down. Oh, it was I'm hilarious, sure. oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. I was sure. like, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. <laughs> I just all of a sudden got all like, I gotta have a daddy daughter dance now. Oh, yeah, oh, buddy. Yeah, dude, dude it, was, it was cute. It was special. <laughs> it was special. It Holy was really crap. Cool. Oh. Dang, Sorry. I just have your that. moment, man. That's all right. Yeah. yeah. I just I realized all of us actually have daughters. Yeah. Uh huh. Look at that. Yeah. Dad, dad, awesome. er, girl dads. Cool. Girl hashtag, dads. Hashtag Boo. girl dads. <laughs> that's cool. That is awesome. All right, sorry. I just had a moment. No, oh, that's a great <laughs> moment. <laughs> Good have you. moment. Huh. Have your moment. Yeah, I had to. That's when I texted you guys. I was like, hey, man, where can I buy slacks? Because yeah. I needed a good oh. set of slacks for my date. Oh, yeah. And now I'm going to ruin it. So, <laughs> <laughs> Perfect segue. Let's go. Take it away. See, this is why people love the podcast. They just never know. Exactly. Every, exactly. You you're think you know where ride. you're going and left turn. <laughs> <laughs> Off a cliff. I took that at the very first. Slowly <laughs> gained our way back up and then Tony took over. <laughs> In fairness, I went into it blind. I didn't. <laughs> Touche. All right. Uh... Three young Bolivian brothers were hospitalized after getting a black widow spider to bite them. On purpose? Thinking it would turn them into Spider-Man. Oh, oh my gosh. The Why Marvel, would it not turn you into Black Widow? The Marvel-loving siblings, ages 12, 10, and 8, oh, found the spider while herding goats in uh, Chayanta, uh, Ministry of... Uh, anyways... Um, so, uh, thinking it would give them superhero powers, they prodded it with a stick until it bit each of them in turn. Uh, it's got to be blue and red, you dum dums. <laughs> yeah, finding them really crying, not black and red. Their yeah. mom rushed yeah. them to a nearby health center, which transferred them to a nearby hospital. Um, did they make it? Doesn't say anything else. I'm assuming they did. Yeah, most. Yeah. I mean, more, more than likely they did. But luckily, so black widows are, if treated quickly, they're not. Terrible. Dude, right. but no, but that reminds me. I have such a hard time explaining to Alden what computer generated is. He thinks they. He's like, how long do you think it, they took them to build those robots for Pacific Rim? I was like, buddy, they're computer generated. Uh, he's like, what's that? I was like, they make them on a computer. He's like, and then print them. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> you know? Bro, we're not far. Yeah. We're not yeah, far. We're right. not no. far now. Well, I have the three D well, printer, so he, I'm just like, no, it's it's just a program that creates it, and it's just for the TV. Like it's just. He's like, yeah, not for the movie. Actually, and there. I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm like. It's it's not real it's amazing what kids can think of with well, i don't know if you guys remember when we were kids with mario you remember the biggest thing kids were going around eating mushrooms 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that they would find on the ground that they, yeah. that they thought would make him bigger and then they started getting sick? Girl. No. They started seeing no, ghosts. It looks like, that? What, what's no. that type of mar- marshmallow? What's that type of mushroom? Like it looks ex- exactly like it's the, the one the reindeer like that, to eat. Have, yeah, the red and the, the red with the white spots. Yeah. And what is that called? Hmm. Musta- must- Something. Yeah, it's Mustalia or Must. I can't remember. Muscaria. Muscaria. Ama- Amanita Muscaria. Yeah. Oh, dang. But yeah, like, these are, I'm pretty sure what the mushrooms in the game were. I never made even after. have seen those in real life, though. Oh, yeah. But oh, they're I mean, up in the mountains. Kids are they dumb. Are. They'll eat yeah. any mushroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nope. No, you'd never find me dead eating a mushroom, man. Dude, mushrooms are so weird. Dude, I, ho- I harvest mushrooms. Mushrooms are delicious. There's I remember some, that time like we had mushrooms. gigantic mushrooms in our old backyard, and you like, I was so them. excited Dude, about it. Dude, they were good ones. Those are good ones. <laughs> Dude, I always <laughs> kick them. If I see mushrooms in the ground, Same. I just run and kick them. Because yeah. it's just so fun to, like, They're the sound it makes, the, like, they explosion. They smell so gross, though. They're they funner than a dandelion. They're gross. Yeah. <laughs> what? They're funner than a dandelion. As an adult, <laughs> dandelions make me mad. Right? I remember seeing a thing one time. It's like, as a kid, you blow it, and it's magical. As an adult, you're like, no! Yes, yes! <laughs> Don't Scarlet spread that out, devil spawn like, in my no! yard. No. <laughs> I go blow it in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> I liked it until someone played a joke and said, oh, look, a dandelion. You go blow it out, and they shove it in your mouth. Ooh. That never happened to you guys? No. I'm oh, convinced you no. grew up with not friends. <laughs> <laughs> For real, dude. <laughs> Touche. You're dumb you're, now. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We've adopted you as one of our own. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate I it. I had that happen to me though too. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, they took they take the yellow one and they like hide this somewhere. And and this one's magic. It can you can find where it's at. I'm like, oh, open your mouth. And you open like nah, like it's not there. And then you shove it in your mouth. Yeah. My brothers are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> they took my it friends, so put it in his microscope. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that caused such a, a that stir in so my family. Funny. I just saw like, that clip oh, again un- today, and I was like, I love <laughs> Like, you're so ungrateful. I said I enjoyed it. I learned to enjoy it. I said that. <laughs> But at first, <laughs> that's a good callback, Cam. I like that. That was, that was yeah, a good callback. Well done. <laughs> cool. Uh, um, I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> what your penis? <laughs> no, my my mic. <laughs> oh, both. <laughs> my microscope. His microscope. So I can see my penis. <laughs> I can see my pizza for his penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. Yeah, oh, oh, that's yeah. a penis. That's great. How many podcasters out there can make you cry from horror and cry from laughter in the same episode? Yeah. <laughs> that is talent. Oh, talent man. or stupidity. I don't know. I often a little, it takes uh, a little bit of beach. And, yeah. and, the and cry yes. with heartfelt. Yeah. We have horror. We have heartfelt. Oh. We have comedy. What's the next one? I don't know point? what to do right now. All, <laughs> all in one. Where's Ooh. next? <laughs> All right. Pull well, up the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's plenty. Um, off the cliff we go. <laughs> here's a here's a good one. Dumpster fire. <laughs> you guys will appreciate this one. Uh, six year one year old man planning to launch himself on a self made rocket. Mm-hmm. That went well. This sounds Mike, like Dumb and Dumber, or not Dumb and Dumber, Jackass. <laughs> Mike Hughes, mm-hmm. a 61 year old who claims to be self taught rocket scientist, hmm. is planning to launch himself in a self made steam powered rocket mm. made using garbage scrap on Saturday. The US based limousine driver 
who believes the Earth is flat and oh, doesn't nice. believe in science. There it is. Aims to reach an altitude of 550 meters and travel up to 1.6 kilometers at 800 kilometer or kilometer miles of km. Yeah, kilometers per hour. Sorry. KPH. Okay. So that it doesn't tell me when it was written, and then you've got another article right after it. Mad Mike Hughes dies after crash landing homemade rocket. <laughs> Mad Mike Hughes, 64. So three years later. So there we go. He was 61 at the time of the article. Now he's 64. Crash landed his steam powered rocket shortly after takeoff near Barstow on Saturday. A video on social media shows a rocket being fired into the sky before plummeting to the ground nearby. Hughes was well known for his belief that the earth was flat. He hoped to prove his theory by going to space. Oh my God! I want to see that video though. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that one up. That one sounds funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what was that movie with Billy Bob Thornton where he makes his own rocket? Uh, oh, Armageddon. <laughs> Space Man. Or the something. astronaut. The farmer. Farmer astronaut. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? No. 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 It's like called the astronaut. The farmer. The farmers. Ah oh, shoot. But that's kind of what this reminds me of. The astronaut farmer. Hey, thing. I found a video. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah. Wow, he actually did it. Bro, he got up there. <laughs> Here's the thing. Big NASA wants you to think he died in an accident. They just didn't want him to prove After right. his homemade powered <laughs> rocket crash landed shortly after taking off, the Science Channel confirmed his death on their well, Twitter page. Why didn't he put a camera on it? <laughs> Bro, look at that guy. He's rocking Dang, man. dude. He got up he there. Did he did some things. Whoa! Parachute? There's a parachute. I mean, there's he, him. Uh, How'd he die? Okay, that's enough. I'm telling you, bud. Oh, big, big oh, NASA. Oh, oh, it didn't, oh, that parachute's oh, not doing very it's well. It's coming down fast. I think he just used too small of a parachute. It didn't that is a oh, pretty yeah. small parachute. Well, I mean, it kind of seems like it's slowing down. How can we tell? Uh, you tell as soon as you see land. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's that's very a, right. That's a very good observation. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, maybe he's still alive. He's just been detained. Yeah, or Epstein. Yep, he knew too oh, much. There he yeah, he knew to too much. The, the hydrogen powered rockets, flat. they didn't want him to. <clears throat> they didn't want to prove the earth is flat either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is funny. All right. Here's a good one. Um, so this happened all the way back in February of 1990 in Washington. Um, the following mind-boggling attempt at a crime spree appeared to be the robber's first try due to his lack of previous record of violence and his terminally stupid choices as follows. One, his target was an H&J leather and firearms, which is a gunshot. Mm -hmm. Two, the shop was full of customers, <laughs> firearm customers. Three, to enter the shop, the robber, the robber had to step around a marked police uh, patrol car parked at the front door. Four, a uniformed officer was standing at the counter having a cup of coffee before work. Upon entering the premises, the would-be robber announced a holdup and fired a few wild shots. Oh the officer gosh. and the clerk promptly returned fire, <laughs> covered by several customers who also drew their guns, <laughs> thereby removing the confused criminal from the gene pool. Goodness gracious. That's the dumbest thing. <laughs> Good heavens. <laughs> well, and, and that was 1990. Flash forward to today. I mean, it, depending on what state you're in and different things, you walk into anywhere. You don't know who's going to be armed. Yeah, like, right. That actually reminds me. Que pasa? Whoa, that que was pasa? weird. What'd you do? What happened? I don't know. It went silent. Am I, was it just my headset? Might have been your headset. Probably. Oh, okay. That was weird. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me of the recent story. Did you hear about the, the shooter in, was it Texas? After the, well, are you talking about the one about after who's, the Chiefs the game? Bowl, no, no, no. Bowl, or? Have you guys, uh, who's that really big mega church pastor? I can't oh. think of his name. Oh, see the one that tried to blow COVID away? I was like, <gasps> be gone, COVID. Is he like a televangelist guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what or is, is that the one that looks like Tim Al or uh, Martin Short trying to be Tim Allen? Yes, yeah. Yeah. that one. <laughs> that one. What's Who, his name? What Joel Epstein. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. 
Epstein? No. No. Joel Osteen. Osteen. So uh, close at his mega church just a few weeks ago. Dude, that was a perfect description. Yeah, dude, perfect description. <laughs> Look at that guy. That couldn't be more perfect. I saw that meme yeah. when it talks about Martin it. Martin Short trying to be who? Tim, Tim Allen. Allen. Tim Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally it. So, um, so like he has a mega church where like hundreds oh, of thousands of people congregate every yeah. Sunday. And some lady showed up to the church with a rifle. And I and I want to say she also had a human shield in a child, which is oh, terrifying. Gosh. But because it's in Texas, <laughs> everybody's got guns. Somehow she got off a few shots, but only injuries, and she died almost instantly. Instant. Jeez, yeah. dang! What's See, you that? don't hear about that. Yeah, like I mean, what does that? What does that say? Yeah, what does that say? <laughs> you don't hear about Kinda it. Kind of weird. It's not the propaganda that they want it's, you to hear. No, about. it doesn't go with the program. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. Pull, program. I'm actually curious. See if you can find the the article from when it happened, because I I I saw it only like I don't know two weeks ago ish, but they uh, I don't know. You never know on the internet. It could even be a totally satirical story. But I'd shoot a woman. What to know? <laughs> Shooting at Joel Osteen's Texas. <laughs> How was it? M- mega church. When was it it's shared? In defense. Oh. Okay, February, February 12th. 12th. Yeah. yeah. 2024. Shooter's motive for opening fire in Celebrity Pastor uh, remained unclear Monday as authorities searched the suspect's home in suburban Houston. I did by the no weapon witness. attack was an AR style rifle. At least they called it right. Right. Assault rifle. <sighs> mm. I hate that. 36 year old Janice Yvonne Moreno. Uh, was sh- she was shot and killed by two off duty officers. Oh, working God. security at the church, one of the largest mega churches in the U.S. Two other people were shot and wounded, including the shooter's young son, oh. who entered the church with Moreno. Like, what's the point? Why would? Yeah, but anyway, because hmm. that's evil. Oops. Just, just goes to show, man. Evil has arm, no morals. Arm up. Okay. Anyway. Oh. You get a gun. <laughs> you get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's my last one, and we can go from wherever we want to go from there. Okay, if okay. You got another one, or yeah, I'm I'm browsing. Just be careful. <laughs> I got a couple. <laughs> um, so this one's called Steel MacBook Armor, <laughs> <laughs> and he was the 2022 Darwin Award winner. Dang. Oh. Okay. So you are wearing body armor in a war zone. You spot an abandoned war- MacBook. You want MacBook. <laughs> Where to hide it? With quick reflexes, a Russian shoulder, a Russian sh- soldier. soldier, thank you, <laughs> slid that MacBook into his chest armor pocket, replacing a ballistic plate designed to save his life. He was uh, killed in Irpin, and his body was retrieved, providing a hearty laugh for all the Ukraine. Instant karma. They reportedly found a stolen iPad as well. Uh, wonder where the iPad was hidden. So he took out his ballistic armor on his chest, replaced it with a MacBook. Got shot in the chest, went oh, right through the MacBook. Is that where yeah. our ta- tax money's going? Your MacBooks. Yep. Apple <laughs> products over in Ukraine? <laughs> I guess. I guess. I think somebody's <laughs> putting some of it in their personal savings account. Well, yeah, I mean, it probably. Just a tad. <clears throat> but what do gosh. I know? I'm just a dink guy. <laughs> 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 All right. Is Cam doing the personal savings account? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. I mean, I win. <laughs> I'll take it. We're Come just on, throwing man. it away. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. Here's one. All right. All right. <laughs> this one's titled uh, "Music Plus Trains Equals Bad Mixtape." This oh, no. happened November third, two thousand six, in Michigan. In, in a collision. In a collision, the great mass of a train guarantees the train will win. Forgetting this, Captain Obvious Law of Physics, a 20-year-old man was walking down the railroad tracks in Camstock Township near Kalamazoo. This, in of itself, is not even close to Darwinian, Darwinian stupidity because trains are loud. They announce their approach from a distance, giving pedestrians ample time to clear the path. 
However, our Darwin contender stacked the odds in the train's favor by wearing headphones with the music turned up loud. Louder than the train's whistle, apparently. The news report didn't mention what song he was listening to. Hmm. May have been... <laughs> <laughs> May have been Slow Train Coming by Dylan. <laughs> oh, despite, <God. laughs> despite several loud blasts of the horn by the train engineer, our Darwin contender kept strolling down the rails in a musical... Rev- How do you say that? Uh, Reverie? Yeah, Reverie. 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 Thank you. Until the Amtrak train offered him an alternative greatest hit smash, removing him from the gene pool in one quick blow. God. I was thinking Johnny Cash. I hear the train of come. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that video of the Amazon driver trying to beat the train? No. No? Oh, <laughs> no. That's where my so, package went. Oh, I did <laughs> see the picture. Oh, you saw I the picture? I didn't read the Bro, article. It's but wild. It's- so this Amazon delivery driver narrowly escapes a train it like it hits his van and you see the van running right behind him like through his van it is wild oh yeah see if you can find the video because they have the they have the dash cam footage facing at the driver maybe that's why my package the other day like (laughs) stopped being delivered it was on its way then it's like nope thank you (laughs) not anymore it's been delayed Oh, I wonder if you can find it because I, I saw it on gotta... Instagram. Dude, it's wild. You literally see the train hit and it is running right behind his head, like his headrest. It looks Jeez. like a fish with its head cut off. I can't believe it cut it clean in half like that. Don't I want to see the like video. Well, and the funniest part <laughs> is, is his like afterward, like his uh, demeanor is almost like he was inconvenienced. It's like, oh, great. <laughs> like, that's because he's paid by the package. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Won't that be hit hit by train? Amazon. Oh, right there, the top one. Look at this. So it it it's kind of a long longer video, not terribly long. This one's going pretty quick. This one's thirty. Oh yeah, seconds. it's about to happen. So he, he, I think right here he's going around the, the train thing. Boom! Oh. And look, you can see it right there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Isn't that bananas? What was he thinking? He <laughs> look at it. He's just shaking his head like, oh, man. Oh, I was like, I'm going to be in so much I trouble. I done effed up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I would have pissed my pants. <laughs> Holy crap. He's not going to see The Rock. (laughs) 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 Oh, bring that up. He's not not making it. Dude, well played. (laughs) The delivery. The delivery. (laughs) That one hits deep. (laughs) It's deep. I'm sorry. Deep (laughs) back. (laughs) <laughs> All right. That made his wrist hurt. I got one. I don't. I, we're going in it blind. It just the, the, the title caught me on it. That's what she said. No one else caught that. Beat, no. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I said that made his wrist hurt. <laughs> 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 the kite surfer who took flight <laughs> in 2007 oh, no. Darwin Awards featured a nomination for a particularly intepid kite surfing Spaniard. As hurricane strength winds swept across <laughs> through the south, sensible Spaniards up and down the coast battened down the hatches and prepared to sit out the storm. Our 40 year old hero had other ideas, however. Seeing the reports of high winds and huge waves, he decidedly decided to defy the ban imposed on going into the water. He grabbed his balls, strapped, to <laughs> strapped into his board, and unfurled his kite. His body was found more than a kilometer away from the sea, having been dragged by the winds and slammed against several buildings along the way. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. So it took him into the city? Yeah. Wow. Just trying to take him home. <laughs> Did I, that- saw, I saw a video one time where this person was kite surfing, and, uh, but it took him like, it looked like they were hundreds of feet in the air. But they stayed over the water, and then they were slowly came back down. But like, 
for that moment. <laughs> Could you imagine? Scares the like, shit out of me. <laughs> just thinking wow. about it. Crap Scared out of me. me. Crap out of me. Could yeah. you? Uh, there's also a video um, that this story also reminds me of. Someone down in Mexico. I want to say this person is from Utah, and this is. I think that's why I think I saw it on local news. But the they were down vacationing in Mexico, and for whatever reason, the parasailing company went through. Uh, even though there was like some crazy storm coming through. Anyway, this girl was like, I think they're on their graduating, like senior year, senior year, or whatever, graduation vacation, mm-hmm. was up in the air, cor- cable snapped. Oh. And the storm just took her away. And she, it, there's video footage of someone on a balcony recording. I'm like, I can't believe these guys are out here parasailing. And she comes, the, like, the, you, you see the cable break. And then you see her come by the building. Oh my god! And she goes Jeez. by it, and I guess she landed safely. Oh my! Like god. about a mile further down the coast or something. She had like broken legs, but totally survived. Jeez! But just crazy story. That's anyway. That crazy. Crazy. I just saw that thing on there. This actually came at a perfect time because Darwin's birthday was a week ago. No oh. way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Psychic dies after stabbing himself to prove he's immortal. <laughs> nice. It's like the, the knife of the other guy. Yeah. Insta karma. Oh. I feel like the guy with the body armor has at least one step up, though, because... He's just trying to test God. armor where this guy's trying to prove he's immortal. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder, like, what happened to these people oh, to make them get to that point? I got to say, careful with some of these videos. Yeah, I got another one here. This is another one. Tries to rob a man at a gun range. I'm not watching this. Uh-oh. <laughs> this one's I'm actually kind of funny. I'm interested. Woman decided to stand under a landslide. Oh, just, just wait. Videos. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. no. And she's gone. I don't like video. <laughs> that was not as bad. <laughs> Bro, I, I, I don't know. It wasn't as bad. It you wasn't as bad. <laughs> you don't get to see. Yeah. Here, I got one. Let's, oh, I, wait, wait. I oh, got, you got I got another one right here. Go for it. Sorry. Have at it. The Niagara Falls Jet Ski Jumper. Oh, I read about this one. <laughs> oh, I heard about this one, too. In 1995, a particularly daring daredevil named Robert decided to attempt something no one had ever done before. Ride his jet ski off Niagara Falls. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Now, that might sound completely stupid, but Robert had done some planning. He'd fitted his jet ski with a rocket booster oh and was gosh. carrying a parachute. He decided the idea was to fire the booster as he hit the falls, opening the parachute at the apex of his flight and drift down safely to the water below. Unfortunately, Robert had failed to factor in one crucial element. The fact that the water makes things wet. Oh. As he hurled toward the falls and pressed the button, he his utterly soaked rocket booster failed to ignite, plummeting off the edge. He tried to open his parachute, but it wasn't waterproof either, and it failed to deploy. Oh, oh, oh man. I, I read about man, it this got one. Sucked into the I falls. forgot where I read it, but he had just gotten out of a stunt school. No like, way. In California somewhere, there's like, you can go to school to learn how to be a, like a stuntman or stunt person. And he had just graduated, and this was going to be his first stunt as a newly stunt graduate. Devil. They're huh? not accredited anymore. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of rockets, <laughs> also in 1995, they must have been all the rage back then. A man from Arizona. Acme, Acme rockets? Yeah. Uh, this one's a JADO, a jet assisted takeoff rocket. Coyote would be proud. Which, if you've never seen, these things are intense. <clears throat> They're intense? Uh, they can be. <laughs> a man from Arizona attached a jet assisted takeoff unit used to help airplanes accelerate during takeoff on short runways. Oh my God. To his car. Oh. He hoped to achieve high speed, but instead lost control and crashed into a cliff, resulting in his death. Yeah. Honestly, it's Wiley Coyote. I'm going I'm to show idea. you. I'm going to show you real quick. Jet assisted takeoff? Yes. Oh, yeah. Harrier jet style? No, this is, so they would use them on C-130s. Just instant. In short runways. Oh, no way. Yeah, because they didn't have, yeah, they didn't have enough space to get going. 
Oh, wait, love let it. me see. I love it. I'm going to do this one, I think. Fat Albert. Fat Albert. Jato. So short runway. This bed will we'll hold the camera still, freaking <laughs> Steve. Don't you know the cameraman never dies? Uh, but so they go flying, and they usually have like two, like two to four of these, like just bolted to the back of the plane. So you is give it, it kind of like those semis at the? Oh, they go when they when it turns on, dude. They almost go like straight up. Look oh, look at that. boom! He's gone. There he goes, dude. That would be so fun. And those are propelling a massive airplane. Yeah, that's Jeez. crazy. Put that on your little sedan on his Geo Metro, probably. Oh, dude, how does yeah. it not burn the tail of the plane? They're aimed out a little bit. Oh. Wow. But yeah, that's, that's all it cool. does. That's cool. just an immediate just take uh-huh. off. It's just like, well, let's go up. That's probably what <laughs> happened to his car is it probably just tried to take <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's wild. I wonder what that sounds like. Like, that is showed a crowd right there at the end. I wonder what that, like, that feels like. Oh, you, you know, it feels oh, it in yeah. your chest. Yeah. Have you ever been to, like, when they test the rockets out at, what is it, yes. ATK now? That's so cool. Yes. Same thing. I just that rumble. I've been to the, been there once, when Rocky Mountain that. Raceway used to be open, I've been to the jet cars out there. Mm. Have you ever done that? The funny cars. The, yeah. Yeah. Dude, so and then when funny. those jet engines, you hear it whistle, and then also, <laughs> yeah. Like the, uh. Like yeah. that motorcycle, the Y two K. Oh yeah, I know it's like that high pitch, like wine kind of thing. It's, it's I don't know. Yeah, it's cool. It's so freaking cool. Yeah. What's a what's a Harrier jet takeoff called? Vertical. Yeah, it has a vertical yeah. takeoff. Vertical. The... Oh, VTO. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's right. Vertical takeoff. Harrier jets are dope. Yeah, dude. What is it? What's cool. the other jet that does it? Is F-35. it the F thirty five? Yeah, has that turbine. It can. It like twists down. It's booster yeah. and then it opens up that door and it has the big old like mm-hmm. turbine kind of uh-huh. thing. Well, what's really has cool. So over here at the cool. air base, every once in a while they'll be practicing different maneuver te- techniques with the F35s. Mm-hmm. And there was one day I was driving down past it and this jet, I am not kidding you, was perfectly still in the air. Yeah. Just just floating. That's didn't crazy. move an inch and it it looked like a glitch. It just looked wrong because it looked like you're seeing a jet and you're like, a yeah. jet should be flying, but it's just. <laughs> well, do you know it was a glitch in the Matrix? Dude, it could, could have been. been. It was wild. wild. Yeah, they do that. They angle it just right to where it just hover. It, like, it moves like this. Just yeah. Bared. Oh, it, it, well, yeah. At, as I was driving by it, I mean, obviously it's moving a tiny bit. Yeah, but you don't look. notice. So look, it yeah. Zach, the yeah. back of it tilts down. Yep. And then it's got that door open on top and there's a big yeah. old like is it blade the s- in there. Look at that. Oh, Straight oh, down. Yeah, dude. That's Opens those little sick. doors and... That That's is wild. freaking sweet. It's like, there we go. What on earth? Yeah, yeah, dude. They're cool. And then when it... It does that, like, transformer move. Yeah. Where it dips a little it'll, bit, it'll but then start it to, yeah, It'll roll start out. to turn back out. Like, jets. This What's one's just name? floating. Man, you guys are getting educated on all kinds of stuff just today. Just floating. <laughs> Why don't they... <laughs> That's what it was doing. Right there. That's yep. exactly what it was doing. Why don't they use these on like the 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 Harriers or whatever? I, the, uh, the you mean on the, the carriers? Aircraft, carriers? aircraft carriers That's or whatever? What they do, for. yeah. Yeah. This okay. is like this is the Navy's are, version. These are one of our top planes. Yeah. No one gets those but Ukraine and no. Israel. <laughs> yeah. And 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 <laughs> and Dan. <laughs> the F-22s we keep though. We're not giving those out. Yeah. Those Everyone so but America. Yeah. All right, Tony, America. you go because I got another one. Okay, this this one's called Beer for Bears. <laughs> <laughs> so, 19th of August, 2007, in Serbia. It's well known that alcohol impairs judgment. It's well known that carnivorous wild animals and humans don't mix. What happens when we combine all three? One might expect men, beer, and bears to combine with lethal consequences, such as the case of a 23-year-old man who inadvertently fed himself to Masha and Misha at the Belgrade Zoo. Serbia... It's well known that alcohol, wait, it's well known, okay. It's well known that, why is it repeating? Because <laughs> he was drunk mm. when he wrote it. <laughs> 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 he was in a cage with two bears, Masha and Misha. Okay, 
Let's see. So such as the case is a 23-year-old man who fed himself to Masha and Misha at the Bulgari Zoo. His untouched clothes suggested that he approached the bears bare naked. <laughs> I'm one of you. <laughs> by choice. The bears, fearing that his intentions were as dishonorable as they were ill-formed, meted out a quick justice. The man's mauled corpse was found... Inside the bear habitat, along with plenty of beer cans, oh Masha gosh. and Misha reacted angrily when keepers tried to recover the man's corpse, but were you eventually remember. persuaded to give up their prize. You remember. The zoo, <laughs> the zoo director said only an idiot would jump into a bear cage. Oh, my god! Sound like Russian brown bears, too. Wow. Just, that's where they're saying. They're huge. They drink vodka for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> vodka. Jeez. And have Russian for dinner. You <laughs> All right. I'm not going to read the, synop- yeah, the short remember. title because I feel like it gives it away. Okay. I haven't read this yet. In 2002, a group of lads from Maidenhead, inspired by what they'd seen in of Paris's parkour scene, decided to give free running a go. Things started out well for Mark and his mates. They found a gap between a two multi-story car parks with a 40-foot drop below. Oh. And after taking a good long run up, Mark managed to clear it. Chuffed with his achievement, he headed to the pub with his pals. On their way home, they passed the car park again. And it was, that, it was then that things started to go wrong. Full of the Dutch courage that comes from a couple of pints, Mark threw himself at the gap again, but lost his balance and on the far side and fell a 40 feet onto a solid concrete barrier. Oh, no amount of alcohol could have cushioned cushioned that blow. Oh, Jeez. oh. 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 Ay, ay, ay. yeah, that, oh. oh, that reminds me of a joke. I'm trying to remember. I want to tell it right. So these two guys are sitting in a bar and the one guy says to the other, he said, Hey, you should order this drink. It's magic. And he's like, what are you talking about? Have you heard this one? I don't know. Uh, I, he's think, like, I think I have. And I, I'll probably tell it wrong. It's been years, but he's like, you should order this drink. It's magic. And he's like, what are you talking about magic? He's like, if you drink it, then um, you can bounce. And he's like, what? He's like, watch, I'll show you. And guy drinks it. And he's like, now come up to the roof with me. I'll show you. And they go up to the roof and the guy jumps off, hits the ground, bounces right back up to the roof. And he's like, holy hell, that's amazing. So they go back downstairs. They have a couple of the magic beer drinks, go up to the top. The one guy who did it the first time does it again. The second guy goes to do it, splat, right on the ground. And the other guy goes back downstairs and the bartender looks at him and goes, Man, Superman, you're a dick when you're drunk. Here's a short right? one. Back in 2002, a man in Australia attempted to cure his snake bite by sucking <laughs> the venom out. Unfortunately, he was also bitten on the tongue by the snake, and he died after before receiving medical help. What? Wait. What? He was trying to suck the venom out of the snake. Oh, my God. And the snake bit him on the tongue. What? Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> moly. Oh, man. Thank you for taking care of yourself <laughs> out of that gene pool. You know the difference between venom and poison? What? You can drink venom. Oh, that's true. Venom oh. has to be like in your bloodstream to be lethal. Oh, hmm. that's why you can suck it out. Yep. Hmm. This one I have to share because it's in Utah. All right. The Utah Paraplunger. In Whoa. 1999, oh. a paraglider named Craig from Riverton in Utah decided he'd try out a new soft way of landing and splash down in a canal. The first part went swimmingly with Craig <laughs> executing a perfect landing. Unfortunately, the swimming part didn't quite go quite so well. Craig's parachute filled with water, dragging him downstream and drowned him. Oh, oh Yep, that'll do it. Cut the ties, man. Let yeah. it go. <laughs> yep. Don't Let parachutes loose, have like take, a quick release? Like, like yeah, to like take it off. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't believe that. I mean, it can't be Utah. that quick because I mean, if you're up in the air and you're like, oops. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like a seatbelt just to push of a button. <laughs> oh but, my gosh. Nope. Jeez. 
Any last ones or I got a few we, uh, more. Can I share more? these? Yeah, just because I got this list, I, I don't just, know. I just want to share Cam's epic one right there is the very last one. Oh, okay. So. I will. I will I'll finish. <laughs> I'll, I'll do these few. <laughs> In 2001, a story appeared in the South Idaho press detailing a man, a death of a man named Marco, who had been driving a van full of friends back from a day on the mountain when his brakes failed. In a truly heroic maneuver, Marco leapt from the moving vehicle before it careered off a cliff edge without telling anyone else about the brake problem first. Thankfully, one of the other passengers stepped in to save the day, managing to bring the van to a halt. Then they went back up the hill to find Marco, who had totally and fatally miscalculated his cowardly leap to safety and hit his head on the pavement, killing himself. Oh, no one else was injured. Oh, 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 oh my God. That's not only Darwin, that's karma. Bro. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he just like ejecto cedo, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just good luck, dudes. Dude, that's mm. sickening. Like, the, more just for the fact, what a disgrace to the friends. Like, yeah. That's wow. awful. Jeez. The brainless <laughs> bungee jumper. In 97, police in Reston, going. Virginia issued a statement saying that they had found a body of a 22 year old Eric Barcia who had apparently died attempting to jump off of a 70 foot bridge. Eschewing commercial bungee operations, Eric had apparently taken matters into his own hands and tied several bungee cords together. He strapped himself <gasps> on securely, tied the other end of the bridge, and then jumped, confident in the knowledge that he'd carefully measured out the bungee's total length, Ooh. just under 70 feet. Of course, what Eric had forgotten was that bungee cords stretch. Uh. They stretch. <laughs> Stretched him straight into the ground. Gosh. All right, I'll end on this one. Oh, Last one from my stories. The luckless sled neck. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ordinarily, a man killed by an avalanche is suffering from a natural disaster and not eligible for a Darwin Award, says an awards website. But the circumstances surrounding the death of Walter, a 43-year-old Fairbanks man, are unusual enough to warrant an exception. He was killed not by a natural disaster, but by his own blatant stupidity. Walter nomination for the 2000 award came after he was high marking on his snowmobile. This is almost entirely pointless exercise involves driving as far as you can up a pristine slope before the sled gets stuck and then bombing back down again. State troopers had warned that conditions meant avalanches were likely earlier in the day, and Walter had, in fact, triggered an avalanche that had been buried up to his waist. Any normal person might be shaken up by this, or at the very least, take it as a sign that they should stop, but this committed sled neck kept right on revving up, up and down the hillside until he triggered a second, bigger avalanche, which swept him down and killed him. So he did it not once but twice. Wow. He wanted to be like Vin Diesel in Triple X. Stupid. All right, Cam. God. I heard you got the piece out of resistance. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to do the honors? You go for it. This is the, uh, I think this is the ultimate Darwin award <laughs> for uh, 2023. So. That's right. That's right. So, do, I, do I screen share? I mean, you can. Basically, it just says the, the CEO of this here company fired someone on the spot who pointed out the safety concerns well before the this incident happened. That CEO was aboard the submarine when it crushed all of them in the depths next to the Titanic. That's Certified Darwin. That's yep. 100% a Darwin Award. Yep. Oh, my gosh. What was that called again? Ocean Gate? That's right. So, yeah. What was, that was the company. What was the, what do they call the submersible? I can't I don't remember. remember. It wasn't even that long ago. That's right. But yeah, that, I didn't even think about it at the time, but that's totally a Darwin Award. Uh, yeah, 100%. that is 100% a Darwin that Award. Hey, bud, your submarine's not going to work. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> of course it'll work. <laughs> I'll prove it to you. <laughs> well, he did make it to the bottom. Yes. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh, wow. And the, and the, the submarine made it to the bottom. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they were disintegrated. The controller made it to the bottom. Do you remember that uh, like virtual 
representation of what it would have been like. Yes. Yeah. Did you see yeah. that? Yes. Yeah. That just was an, wild. Just an instant crush. Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Gosh, that was wild. Yeah. So Which crazy. is honestly good for the people on board, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just hopefully there was no panic beforehand. They, they probably oh, would no. not have I mean, even known. I think they did the math, and it was like the the time it took to implode and the time it takes your brain to send your body pain receptors they didn't even have time. Like I it just was mean, just, like, I hope that there was no... Like, beforehand. Before, <laughs> like, like they knew it was going to happen. Down, knowing something. Uh, yeah, like, they knew like, it was going to happen, and they were trying to beat the time or whatever. Like, I just hope it was just a... Like and they're like, this is going to be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like those, you know, those, like memes? those Instagram videos. Yeah, yeah those Instagram videos where yeah. they're like, they, well, I don't know, the guy like back talks his wife and then yeah. all of a sudden he's just at heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's just like, the pearly gates. And he's like, <laughs> like <laughs> instantly. Yeah. Those are funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hopefully they're just having the time of their life and they can say, boo. Oh, oh man. What? <laughs> oh, this is <ain't> Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't they say the controller wasn't responsive or something? If you were the one in charge of that, would you have said anything or you just pretended like you're still the I think you just to pretend that you're just doing what you if can. If you're a decent human, yeah. that guy's probably like, we're going to die. <laughs> Starts freaking out. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> on that note, we end uh, the fun Darwin Awards. Oh, man. So always I a love fun topic talking. to come back to. I love talking and sharing stupid you stories. You know, man. Mm-hmm. I still, re- I mean, not in detail, but I still remember the one that you told when you were, we were still in your old house with the bucket. Yeah. Dude. That one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The guy that, it's it like, like coyote thing. Yeah. Yep. Gosh, now I wish I do remember the details of it, but I just remember oh. it was just like, it went up and then down. It was his report. His yeah. report was hilarious. Yeah. Uh. Said bucket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He had to file a report. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that, that one was epic because it was like a good... Because I think it was, it was, it was an honorable mention. It didn't kill him, but man, the story was. (laughs) My favorite was still the concert. I don't know why, but that one. Oh, the guys jumping the wall. Oh man, that one was. I pictured Cheech and Chung or something, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, on that note, uh, hashtag for the night. Stupid. Stupid. I was gonna say. (laughs) Go ahead, Tony. Go ahead, Tony. I, headless. <laughs> Head, oh. I was gonna try it's, it's headless. I was thinking headless. Headless is there easier. There we go. Hashtag headless. Oh god. We'll go for that for the night. Uh thanks for joining us. Regrets. We uh we do hope you join us again next time. Jeez. Um don't go look up that video either. Oh. And uh if yeah, have yourself a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're listening to this podcast and uh Hey, uh, also give uh, Zach some well wishes, man. Yeah. Heal well. Yes. Aww. Come back stronger than ever, baby. Yeah. Hopefully you just need a cast and not surgery. Yeah. Hey, bionics, baby. Let's get you a whole new arm. The home part. <laughs> Titanium. You know, and, uh, you know, if you're just by chance on social media and you see The Rock somewhere on there, just mention my name and get him to say hi to me. It's there all you asking. Go. It's all <laughs> I'm asking. Just a FaceTime call. It's like, a, it's like a petition, but, yeah. yeah just a, What just do they call it when it's like... Uh, when they have like make a wish foundation well like a like a a name to it where it's like the rock saying hi to zach the i don't know i'm i'm yeah, petition. we're done yeah <laughs> you had it right yeah it's like a petition <laughs> yeah sort of but it's not like signing it it's like a i don't know a movement a movement yeah where it's like it's got a name like Remember the like Make a Wish Foundation when the kid wanted to be Batman and the kid got to like dress up and like repel down a building or something oh, as cool. Batman. Uh, Gosh, but it's like I don't know. Make a wish movement. That's we're, what we're we'll done. Call it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Thanks, guys. Hope you had a wonderful night. Ciao. Love oh, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being part of this crowd. Arrivederci.